hello everyone uh, today we will, be, we will be discussing uh, our project our project title is chest x-ray image classification into normal and uh, pneumonia uh, classes uh, it's done by me and my uh, colleague Ebro Rakciolo me and you Babid uh, now let's go to the details we will start by uh, defining classification in dictionary it's classified as the, the act of uh, or the process of dividing things into groups according to their type and in machine learning, uh, the, the part that we are interested in more, it's defined as the process where computers group data together based on predetermined characteristics. Uh, then <coughs> we will be discussing image classification. Uh, we will define it first, then we will talk about its two main types, which is unsupervised classification, known as a clustering and supervised classification. The definition of image classification is uh, states that it is the process of categorizing and labeling groups of pixels or vectors within an image based on specific rules. The categorization law can be devised using one or more spectral uh, or textural uh, characteristics. Uh, the, two the two types that we already mentioned are the unsupervised classification and the supervised. The unsuper unsupervised classification or clustering is defined as a fully automated process that utilize unlabeled data and finds out uh, patterns and relationships among the data elements and then image processing uh, clustering uh, start by or it is the process that groups pixels into clusters based on their uh, properties or similarities uh, the supervised classification uh, or classification for short it is a method uh, it's a process that uh, it's the process of visually selecting samples uh, sam we mean by sample training data within the image and assigning them to pre-selected categories or classes in order to create statistical measures to be applied to the entire image. Classification in general uh, between objects is uh, an easy task for humans, but it's a uh, hard or uh, complex task uh, for machines to be, to, to, to be done. Uh, and that's due to the fact that humans can perceive uh, the overall picture, whereas uh, machines deals with images pixel by pixel then uh, we will get to the image classification process the overall process it start uh, by six uh, main stages starting by digital data pre-processing feature extraction decision and classification classification output and the accuracy assessment we will explain each in detail the first step start by the uh, digital data in our case it's digital image so we will start by defining what is digital image uh, digital image are, uh, is uh, a representation of <coughs> real images as as a set of numbers that can be stored and handled by a digital computer in order to translate the image into numbers it's divided into small areas called called uh, pixels the next uh, step or stage of the the overall process is the pre-processing the, the pre-processing, we will explain first the aim of pre-processing, then the steps of it. Uh, the aim of pre-processing uh, is to improve the image data by suppressing unwanted uh, distortions and enhancement of some important image features, so we can use them in the, in the, in the training process later. The steps of it uh, is divided as following. Uh, first, reading images, then resizing resizing the images, then the data augmentation. The data augmentation has uh, several other steps, which is are, which are a gray scaling of image, reflection, uh, Gaussian blurring, and histogram equalization. We will explain them later. Uh, then the next stage is the feature extraction stage. Uh, we will start by defining this uh, process and then uh, how it's related in image processing. The definition of uh, feature extraction is a process, uh, or it, it defines itself as a process of dimensionality, dimensionality reduction by which an initial, uh, an initial set of raw data is reduced to more manageable groups of, for processing. Uh, the methods that are selected or combined, uh, or it, we can consider feature extraction as a set of methods that select uh, or combine variables into features effectively reducing the amount of data that must be uh, processed, uh, processed while still uh, accurately and completely describe the original data set without losing any information. In image processing, uh, feature extraction algorithms are used to detect features of images such as the shape, edges, or motion in digital images or videos. 
the next stage that we will be explaining today is the decision and classification stage and this step or stage uh, this this step or stage categorize the de detected objects into predefined classes by using a suitable classification techniques that compares the image patterns with the target patterns and this is the in the unsupervised in the supervised case then uh, we will have this uh, figure to go uh, to show out the whole the whole the, the all of the overall uh, process it's as we mentioned before it started by pre-processing then the feature extraction stage by extracting features that we need to, that we think that they are useful in the classification then the classification is done this is considered to be the last step in the classification yet there is a uh, another step that is important it's called the accuracy assessment the accuracy assessment is a, an important part of any classification project as it compares the classified Im, uh, classified image image to images to another data source that's considered to be accurate or ground through data that means we use the accuracy assessment to compare the uh, the output of our model with the with the real accurate and truth data uh, by now, <coughs> my part is finished. Uh, I will let the word for my colleague to finish from here. Uh, thank you for listening. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Ebru Rakçıoğlu. Uh, I will talk about convolution neural network uh, in the definition and uh, I will explain main layer in the uh, convolution neural network. In the convolution neural network is also known in CNN. Yeah, is a class of neural network that specify in processing data that has grid-like topology such as image. Uh, CNN typically has three layer, a convolution layer, a pooling layer, a fully connected layer. Uh, in the convolution layer, the convolution layers are the major building blocks used in convolution neural networks. A convolution uh, is a linear operation that involves multiplication of uh, a set of weights with the input, much like a traditional neural network. Given that the technique was designed for two-dimensional input, the multiplication is performed between an array of input data and a two-dimensional array of weights uh, called a filter or a kernel. We add the pooling layer after convolution layer. Uh, adding this layer is commonly pattern used for ordering a layer within a convolution neural network that may be repeat one or more times in a given model. Pooling layer involves selecting a pooling operation much like a filter to be applied to feature maps. Uh, two common functions used in the pooling operation are average pooling and maximum pooling. Average pooling uh, calculate the average value for each patch on the feature map. Uh, max pooling uh, calculate the maximum value for each patch of the feature map. The result of using a pooling layer and creating pooled feature map is a summarized version of the feature detected in the input. The layer is simply feedforward neural network. The connected layer from the last few layer of the network. This layer may have nonlinear activation function or a softmax uh, max activation in order to output probability, probabilities of uh, class predictions. Uh, let's talk about the, our project details. Our project subject is chest uh, X-ray image classification into normal and nominia. Uh, our data has uh, 5,863 X-ray image separate into uh, category. Data gathered from patients of 1 to 5 years old uh, from a 
medical center uh, for the analysis of the uh, chest X-ray image. All chest uh, radiographs were initially screened for quality control by removing all low quality and unreadable scan. The diagnosis for the image were the, uh, graded by two expert physicians before being cleared for traditional AI system in order to uh, account for any grading errors. The evolution set was also checked by a third expert. In press processing part, we use uh, resizing, histogram equalization and Gaussian blur. In the classification part, we use convolutional neural network. In the pre-processing part, first we apply uh, resizing. Um, we use three different sizes in the CNN. Uh, receive inputs of the same size. Uh, also, reducing image size makes it easier for a computer to calculate uh, matrix calculation. Uh, next part is histogram equalization. Uh, this method extends the pixels uh, intensity range from the original range to 0 to uh, 255. Uh, this the enhanced image has a wider range of intensity and uh, slightly higher contrast. Um, next uh, process was the Gaussian Buller. Uh, this is a filter. Uh, this filter reduces some noise and unwanted details that can be confusing for the neural network. CNN part. In CNN part, we use two networks. First one has 12 layers, second one has 16 layers. Uh, it's also known uh, as VGG16. We use 3x3 three three and 2x2 two two filters. Uh, we use uh, for activation function ReLU softmax sigmoid. Uh, ReLU function will output the input directly if it's positive, otherwise will output zero. Uh, softmax used for uh, more than two clustering uh, classification. Uh, sigmoid uh, is for binary classification. Uh, max pooling is then used to reduce the uh, special dimensional of the output value volume. Let me talk about the outcomes. Uh, before we say we use uh, two different uh, neural network with different uh, layer size uh, and we use uh, three different sizes uh, image. Mm, in this network uh, is a 12 uh, layer network. It's designed one convolutional net, uh, layer and then one pooling layer uh, is a max pooling. Then we repeat this uh, part a few times uh, with different uh, outputs. Uh, then we flat the, uh, our output. Uh, flattening is make uh, our two dimensional uh, result to one dimensional uh, output. And then we use one uh, density function with uh, rel activation function. Then uh, we use uh, for classification part, uh, we use. Uh, activation function uh, softmax um, in the graph uh, we uh, seen result of the, our training uh, model uh, in the first one first one we seen uh, accuracy in training and validation part uh, in the second graph we uh, seen uh, loose uh, output in training and validation part uh, and 
The result looks very good, but in the uh, testing, uh, accuracy and loss is not very well as well as uh, training part. Uh, in the second uh, network, we use 16 uh, layer, uh, two convolution layer, and then one max pooling or three convolutional layer, uh, then one max pooling. In the last part, we use a sigmoid function, and uh, our result uh, is shown in the graph. Uh, the result is not uh, look good. Um, it's uh, stuck in one value and uh, didn't uh, go on. Uh, yeah. Uh, also, our testing accuracy not satisfying. Mm. In the size of uh, 62, uh, this is the uh, second size of uh, image, uh, 32 size of image, and uh, we use uh, 12 layers. And our results is shown in graphs and first one is accuracy and second one lose. Uh, in the 32 uh, sized image it's uh, actually very small and uh, our accuracy is not too high but it's near to a 96 um, sized image uh, and our training part also is uh, look very good uh, value but uh, testing part we got 75 uh, result uh, accuracy value this is the uh, second network uh, it's uh, 16 layers uh, and also the graph is not uh, looks very good uh, I say before it's stuck in one value and didn't go over. Uh, this is the uh, last uh, output. Uh, it's it's size two hundred fifty six. Uh, in this part, um, we this is sixteen layer uh, network. Uh, this is actually uh, better than other uh, sized image, uh, but it's also uh, not good as uh, 96 sized image. Thank you for listening.